students, it's Mr. Glazebrook. I'm a teaching artist, as you know, with KidSmart. But what you might not know is that I am also a superhero. I hope you're all safe at home, practicing social distancing. I know that I've missed working with you over the last few weeks. I bet you might be getting a little bit bored. In which case, I think I've got something fun that we might enjoy doing together. I'd like to enroll you in the KidSmart Superhero Academy. So the first thing we need to cover about creating our superheroes is to remind ourselves of our acting terms that we've already looked at. Tableau and pantomime. Do you remember what a tableau is? Do you remember what a pantomime is? Let's quickly review. A tableau is a frozen picture that you create using your face and your body. The simplest tableau is just an emotion. So for example, if I were creating a tableau of the emotion sad, it would look like this. You can see in this tableau, I'm not moving, and I'm also not making any sound. So in a tableau, remember, our whole picture is frozen. So here's what I want you to try. I want you to try the tableaus that I call out the emotions for, okay? So we're gonna try a couple of emotions, and you right there at home, you're gonna try your own set of tableaus. So the first one is going to be angry. Ready? Three, two, one, tableau. Very good, excellent. Did you finish your angry tableau? Did you stay totally frozen? Was your face not moving, your body not moving? Were you able to keep silent? Excellent job. Let's try another tableau. This one is scared. Three, two, one, tableau. Very good, excellent work. Let's do one more. This one's going to be happy. Ready? Three, two, one, tableau. Excellent job. So remember, a tableau is a frozen picture that we create using our face and our body. We don't move and we don't make any noise while we're doing the tableau. Let's practice pantomime. Pantomime is similar to tableau. In both pantomime and tableau, we don't make any noise. But in pantomime, we can move, right? So I am going to, for example, pantomime opening a door. Ready? Three, two, one. Did everybody see how I did that? So in that case, you're able to move, you're able to use your whole face and body, but you're not supposed to talk. So let's create a couple of pantomimes, okay? The first one is we're gonna create a pantomime of you being a shark. Are you ready? You're gonna create a shark at home and you're gonna pantomime swimming around the ocean. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice work, hero. That's enough for today. Next time, we're going to cover poses and powers. Mm -hmm.